a patient perspective. Let's welcome Maura Bittens. Thank you everybody for having me. You have no idea how happy I am to be here today. My name is Maura Bibbins. I have lived in Las Vegas for six years, uh, um, originally from the Boston area. I am married, going on 15 years, and I have three kids. Their ages are 10, 7, and 4, but he wanted me to point out he's four and a half going into kindergarten. <laughs> Very important. For me, I am 41 years old, and I have cancer. I have stage four breast cancer metastasized to my lungs, to be exact. If we wanted to be more specific, I would tell you I have triple negative breast cancer. That means that my tumors are not receptive to hormone, hormone therapy. Really, it's a frustrating disease because my only option is chemotherapy. I was 39 years old when I found the lung. I have no history of breast cancer in my family. I was genetically tested, and I am BRAC1 um, and 2 negative. I do not smoke. Stress? I had some. I was a stand-up comic. I owned my own nail salon for years, and did I mention the three kids? I, I had some stress. But I also enjoyed yoga and Pilates. As a matter of fact, when I got diagnosed in December of 08, I was working as a program director in a martial arts studio, and I was in training to get my black belt. So I had eight rounds of chemotherapy. I had a double mastectomy with lymph node removal, reconstruction, and just for good measure, we had six weeks of radiation, and I was done. Woo! I was off and running. We actually used the word cured. And within a year, I did earn my black belt. Thank you. I was just focused. I did not like the word cancer survivor because I didn't want that to define who I was. It was just a part of me. It was something that happened, and I was moving forward. So you can imagine how surprised I was just last December when I got the news that the cancer was back and it spread. I was really shocked. I still wasn't comfortable with the term cancer survivor. I now like the term cancer fighter because that's what I was going to do. I tried to get onto a clinical study for a great new drug called BSI-201 that actually targets triple negative tumors, but they didn't accept me into the trial. I got my second opinion at MD Anderson, and it was grim news. They told me that if I did not respond to my chemotherapy, I had four to five months to live. If I do respond to my chemotherapy, I might have up to 12 months. That was very grim indeed. But I'm already beating the odds. The average time for progression-free with chemotherapy alone for this disease is only three to four months. And I am now going on five months of progression free. Thank you, thank you. I can't even describe how grueling the last five months was. But since we have the disease at bay, I was just getting given word that they will give me six more weeks off until my next treatment. So what am I going to do with these six weeks off? Because will I continue to go on for a year or more? I don't know. I don't know how long I actually have, but it doesn't matter to me. It's what I'm going to do with that time. So in this next six weeks, I just took a trip with my family. We have a big family reunion this weekend, and I'm going back into the studio, and I'm going to train for six weeks for that second degree black belt. But out of all those amazing things I want to cram into six weeks, I am so happy to be well enough 
to stand very humbly in front of you and thank you on behalf of the cancer fighters, the cancer survivors, our friends and family, thank you for the work that you are doing. It is so important. If ever you wake up one morning and say, should I really go to work today? I want you to think of me standing here and saying yes, because you are making such a difference. As a matter of fact, you are the difference between life and death for some of us. And I want to thank the Estelle's group for their generosity to, to groups like Susan G. Komen and other groups and the amazing research work that's coming down the pipeline and not just cancer, but in all other diseases that affect so many of us. Keep doing what you're doing. Rise above the rest because you are the difference. And I want to thank you so much and God bless every one of you.